ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome back my name of course is over the potato and this is rogue state got a couple of things that we wanted to say no 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 let me let me start again we've got a couple of things that we said we wanted to do that's right english potato always remember you should totally speak it it's a good it's a good thing to do got a couple of things i said i wanted to do in the last episode one of those was visit the situation room i'm still 100 percent down visiting the situation room however we also said that we wanted to build extra infrastructure and uh, and you know this is important so we want to restore financial services plus 10 capital support and a 15 percent increase in tax revenue awesome that is really really good capitalists significant increase for them very very happy with that rebuild telecom telecommunications infrastructure another 15 percent and um, i will also take that you know we're sitting pretty on 12 million per turn at the end of the last episode, we sort of discussed how this little dude up here wanted uh, wanted us to grow the treasury rate to 19 per turn. What a douchebag! Um, but yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be beelining for that. You know, that's that's our aim. That's what we want to try and do. All right, let's go to the situation room. Let's stumble on over to wherever the hell the situation room actually is. Apparently, it's just in the room next door. All right, that's great. I want to say I've never been here before. It looks badass, though. It looks fucking badass. Is that guy watching cartoons? Is that guy watching cartoons? I don't really know. So what can we actually do here? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, look, here we go. Uh, General Nad Nadir Adad. That's him over there. That's cool. It's going to take us about five years to walk on over there, so I guess we'll walk over there first. So in the tutorial, I think that this guy was in charge of our military deployments. Do you have any orders, Excellency? Do you have any orders, Excellency? Um, military morale. Morale within our armed forces. Yeah, I want to know. Armed forces are satisfied with your leadership. They know you are doing your best. Oh, that's okay then. That's okay. Strategic assessment. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. That's all for now. Thanks. That's all for now. That's cool. Let's go to our intelligence reports. I know what mine's gonna say. Over the potato intelligence report, too fucking big. That's right. Um, so yeah, I guess we've got intel on the other countries that are around us, which is kind of cool. Military size, unknown. Resource demanded, unknown. Percentage of tourism, unknown. Wow. What, what fantastic information. Uh, we've even got an ambassador here, which is kind of cool. That's kind of interesting. Military size, vastly superior. You know what? I don't think I needed an intelligence report to know that, but hey-ho. Procurement officer. What is the procurement officer saying? All right. So apparently, apparently we can buy some stuff. <laughs> Pretty freaking sweet. We've got three infantry battalions right now. Um, I don't really want to go to war with anybody. It's not something I really want to do, but uh, uh, hey-ho. Should we buy a tank? Should we buy a tank just for the sake of it? Ongoing cost, three million per turn. This is a lot of money, chums. This is a lot of money. It takes two turns of deployment. God damn, that's a lot of money. Let's not worry about that for now. Let's go to the strategic overview and see what's going on. All right. All right, let's have a look at this. So... We've got one military uh, infantry person at each and every um, each and every border that borders our country. Okay, that's cool. I can I can handle that. I mean, everybody likes us mostly. Like, we're all good, really, aren't we? I mean, I don't really know. I mean. <laughs> I don't really know if anybody's going to declare war at us. Like, I, I don't know what the trigger point is for that. Uh, clandestine operations. Well, that sounds very interesting. Wow, okay. Nuclear weapons development not possible without clandestine facility. Okay. Apparently, we can, uh, we can get a space program. A giant hydroelectric dam. Likelihood of success, 30%. 45% for the space program, though. A giant firewall. Okay. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Uh, time machine not possible without clandestine facility. How do you make a clandestine facility? That's my question. I imagine it's probably something that we, we get the option to build after reconstruction. 
Uh, weapons of mass destruction console. We need a, a weapons of mass destruction uh, before that, and let's head back to the office. Yeah. Okay. So at the oh that look that looks like the console down in the left hand corner over there. That looks like the the weapons of mass destruction console. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I think in fairness. Things are interesting, right? Things are very, very interesting, and that that's worrying, perhaps, maybe. I don't, I don't really know. I don't know why we sort of came into policies. I don't know why we came into policies. Yeah, there's no real reason to. Everybody's pretty happy with us. What is this? No mass transit system. We could. Let's just, let's just go fucking ham on the mass transit system, and then it's going to be only the capitalists that are disappointed in us. That's kind of nice. Alright, so, pretty sure everybody's pretty happy with us right now. Well, I say that everybody's pretty happy with us. I mean that most of the people that actually matter, our allies, are pretty happy with us. I'm not entirely sure how, how happy the American imperialists are with us, but whatever. Let's go to the next turn. I feel that we're taking too long on turns. Citing the lax food safety standards of Basenji... Kalshara has restricted the imports of our delicious ostrich eggs. This is the first this is the first we have heard of any concerns with our food safety standards, and our analysts believe this is a likely excuse to impose an illegal tariff and force their people to consume emu eggs instead. Oh god. Um Well Kalshara is sort of our ally. And we don't we don't want to we don't want to do nothing, because that's going to upset everybody in our country. Well, not everybody, but, you know, the capitalists and the fundamentalists. Do you want to do a food safety inspection, standards, carrying outage? Let's fucking, let's fucking ban their import of their eggs. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. They ain't got nothing on me. I ain't spending 10 mil. No sorry. We're going to build some more infrastructure since it's turn three and we can do that. All right. Restore state industries. Domestic production is restored. Boom. There we go. We've got state industries. And I think it's just it's a random roll of what our state industries actually are. I don't really know. Um, but whatever. All right. The restorative justice system is next. And it's going to cost us 30 mil. I guess we just sort of do it. I guess we just sort of fucking do it. And we get to choose. We want to go for offer amnesty. It's time to put the past behind us. Or we can say the war is over and the people are weary of seeing their fellow citizens incarnated simply because of following the king's orders. Imprison the monarchists or offer amnesty. Offer amnesty. I think that that's what we want to do. With a sort of justice system in place, the wounds of the revolution can finally start to heal. Beautiful. Congratulations. You now have access to three new state infrastructure purchase categories. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm pretty sure would have happened. Um, what I want to know is how do I build a clandestine, a clandestine, uh, a clandestine facility? There we go. A remote site known only by a small number of individuals where the most secret of activities are conducted. Oh, wow, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? That sounds really, really exciting. We can get drone warfare, presidential guards, oh, riot police. We've also got loads of social stuff. This is awesome. This is really, really awesome. Wow. I like this a lot. This this game is really shaping up to be very, very interesting. Advances our national interest through cooperation with like-minded states. Unlocks country-specific stuff. Advances our national security in our national interest through trade and prosperity. I mean, I think we should probably do this. Yeah, that take, that's going to take five uh, five turns to complete, but that's going to give us three million per turn. And that's going to eventually pay itself back, so I think that might actually be worth it. I always probably sort of want to go through the trade and diplomacy tech tree first. Yeah, I guess that's probably what we want to do. Plus 15 million per turn when capitalist approval is over 60. Wow. All right. Um, and plus 10 neighbor relations. Oh my god. Let's fucking take all of this shit. There we go. Make sure our, our neighbor's relations are, are up. Cartel, your domestically produced goods will receive a massive one-time boost in value. That's not bad. I'll take that. Do we have anything that combos at the moment? Uh, we get plus one Patriot approval per turn when exported, and plus one Liberal per turn when it's imported. Well, we're not importing at the moment. We're 
We can we can only export, and clothing does nothing by itself, and it does nothing with media products. But hey, -oh, we really splashed out making sure that our neighbors are happy with us. Fingers crossed that doesn't all go to shit. I hope anyway. Um, let's have a look at the regional map just quickly. We want to try and we want to try and do some trading. Can we do some trading with um, Bothina perhaps? Try and trade off our uh, our our clothes. Yeah, because they're the only ones that don't actually have clothes. So let's discuss trade. Fuck it, Thank let's do it. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, discuss trade. Uh, are you interested in negotiation where we sell you Basenji garments? Are you interested in negotiating a there trade we go. agreement where we sell you Basenji garments? Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Certainly. These are the terms that we are prepared to agree to. Uh, 9 million per turn, 103% of the market rate. I'll take it. I'm signing that one. I'm signing it. Take it away. Um, discuss issues, I guess. Spiritual leadership is important. Oh, I don't want to discuss this. I don't want to discuss this yet. Apologies, but I must go. Apologies, I must go. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, sweet. We're going to start exporting our bloody clothes. That's bloody well awesome. I mean, it's no media products. We haven't, you know, started started selling off media products yet. But that's next on the list of things to do, I think. Now, who has who has not got media products and would need them? Oh, Kalshara, you might need media products. Or Zabriel, you could need media projects. Media projects, media products. Uh, let's let's try let's try it out. Let's try uh, you. See if you'll. You'll take my call. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for taking my call. Discuss trade. All right. Are you interested in a trade agreement where we sell you media and entertainment? There we go. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji media Let's do it. and entertainment? Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Certainly. Uh, 11 million per turn. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Purely because it gives us a, a bonus to, to Patriots as well. Apologies, End the call. But I must go. Let us Apologies. Speak again later. But I must Goodbye. go. Goodbye. See, I don't know what the type of events that we're going to get each turn. But it's going to be pretty freaking dodgy. Alright. Excellency, our accountants just review, reviewed the data in our national treasury and found a rounding error that works out in our favor. We have 200 million more than we previously believed. Wow, okay, we have excellent news. Or excellent news, have our accountants executed. Should we do that one? I feel we should probably do this. Fucking execute the accountants. There we go. Fucking execute the accountants. Um, Wow, awesome. Uh, so our... Uh, oh, what is this? Working conditions are very poor. Okay, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. Um, So our treasury minister acknowledged that, yes, we are now an economic powerhouse in uh, the Basenji region, which is freaking awesome. And you've earned a favor viewable in the legislative assembly menu which is the parliament and cabinet menu i would imagine so is everybody still like hunky dory with us i don't really know if they are let's let's see yeah, everybody's all right with us really they should be i mean nothing crazy's happened as of yet but we can build more infrastructure which is pretty much what we want to do I mean, I'm having too much fun building infrastructure right now. Like, it's really, really good fun. Um, what do we want to do? A cartel. Is that really what we want? I think we want this. Plus 50 million per turn when capitalist approval is, is above 60. I mean, capitalist approval right now is above 60. Which is something that we can, we can celebrate. Let's get a trade commissioner service. Let's get the hotel. Give us US relations. And can we... Oh, we can choose. An American hotel, bugged rooms, our agents inside will plant... Okay, so we get an increased intelligence uh, collection. Or we get our hotel will spare no expense in attracting the rich and famous. Uh, let's go for the bugged rooms. I'm, I'm quite comfortable doing that. And also the global shipping company. Because we want, we want money. <laughs> we want money. <laughs> Subsidize a global shipping company with hundreds of container ships to ensure that the Senji exports remain highly competitive on the global market. Damn right. Damn right. And that didn't even 
that didn't even scratch the surface of the sort of money that we've got available to to us. And uh, you know, that's that's bloody great, isn't it? It's really, really good. So we've got a lot of options in the society area, and I think this means that we can sort of, uh, you know, go wherever we sort of want with this. Advanced Diagnostics Hospital. It's pretty cool. Cantankerous Genius Doctor from America. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Religious schools. Okay, they're they're not a fan of us. Prestigious University. And education grants. Okay, so a lot of interesting stuff in society, but not something that I really want to pursue right now. However, the clandestine facility. <laughs> oh, that gets me excited. Um, visitor screening. Arms Bazaar. Okay, I mean, not bad. Presidential Guard. Could be something that we do. Could be something that we do. However, the clandestine facility just seems seems like such a great option uh, such an unbelievably great option um unfortunately i think we need to make sure that the fundamentalists get on board with us at the moment and um, so i think we're going to beeline for religious schools so we'll get uh we will get what do we want to do we'll get the option one because otherwise that means religious schools is going to be permanently unavailable so we got to do what we got to do yeah. Yeah, we need to go for this. It sucks, but, you know, hey-ho. Such is the way of things. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that uh, that even even though the Liberals are, you know, they're they're not a fan, but they're not exactly um, in, a, in a bad way. Working conditions are poor. Can we address that? I'm glad that this uh, this cabinet dude has acknowledged our success in growing the economy. That's kind of nice. Huh. Don't really want to upset capitalists. I don't really know. I think we'll have a, a moderate mid minimum wage, and that should even out the uh, it should even out the discrepancy a little bit. Yeah, an average minimum wage is just too much, too much. We just want to go for a low minimum wage. That means that everybody is pretty, pretty happy. Um, pretty happy, I guess. What is this? Homeless shelters. I suppose we should probably get some homeless shelters. What is this? Our government will build new homes for the homeless, subsidi subsidized by volunteer work. Um, let's go. Let's go half and half. So that we get some support for doing it, but you know we don't want to go all out because otherwise we're going to be spending a shit ton of money on it. Uh, and week of prayer, week of prayer is currently not practiced, but I don't want to upset the capitalists too much. Although they're on seventy percent, but bear in mind that if we ever drop below that sixty percent threshold, uh, then we're not going to get access to that sweet sweet fifty million per turn from votes so working conditions are poor i want to see what this favor is actually going to do i'm curious about it so let's go to the parliament and cabinet area and see what is up all right uh you're gaining four loyalty points each turn that's great banked loyalty points your exceptional skills at keeping the parliament happy is not going unrewarded loyalty points in excess of 100 are stored in the bank awesome that's great that's really really good um you where where can i get access to this uh where can i get access to this uh you have entered you have earned a favor from the minister viewable in the legislative assembly menu legislative assembly menu well there's the Parliament and Cabinet menu. I don't, I don't really know about the Legislative Assembly menu. It's not there. Don't really know where the heck he's talking about. I must confess. Don't really know. Also, it must be pretty freaking awkward uh, with my brother. It must be a pretty awkward situation. I didn't mean to go into policies. I meant to go into uh, Treasury and Commodity Data. Maybe it'll be there. Maybe? 
no, it's not here. What am I thinking? Legislative assembly menu. The legislative assembly menu? I mean, goddamn. No shit, I double clicked on it and he fucking teleported. Holy shit. Oh, this gives us a, a little overview of everything. Okay, that's kind of nice. Can we go to the help menu? Uh, help menu? Help, help, help menu? Uh, legislative assembly? Is that something that we can do? The cabinet? They can be fired, but severe penalty. Oh, examples of favor. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Let's go to the parliament and cabinets. We can double click as well. That's kind of cool. And uh, we need to click on this dude. And he's giving plus 15 approval as a favor. I'm with you. I'm with you. You're not giving anything. I'm, I'm understanding this. Okay. That makes total, complete, and utter sense. All right, ladies and gents, my name, of course, has been Over Potato. This has been Rogue State, and until next time, bye.